Hi, Rashida. It is so nice to meet you. I've been a fan for such a long time. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I really loved your character, Susie, and the show, Sunny. I, I wanted to ask first, what, what about Susie, as you were reading the story or even the book originally, did it made you realize you wanted to be a part of this? And what was it like interacting with Sunny for the first time? Yeah, I, you know, I've, I've been extremely lucky in my career um, to work with very talented people, a lot of comedians, um, and and I, but I did feel like it was sort of time for me to maybe explore a, a darker side of myself and also maybe like a, a less likable version of myself. There was something kind of, um, it, was, it was kind of a relief, I think, to play somebody who is so ornery and doesn't care what people, or seemingly doesn't care what people think about her and isn't really looking to be friends with anybody um, and just says it like it is and cusses people out. It was, it was like a nice break from, from being likable. <laughs> Um, and then in terms of Sunny, uh, we had a meet and greet before the show and I, you know, she's so cute. I was really impressed by just the, the form that she had taken. Um, but really she didn't come to life for me until Joanna Sotomora, who plays Sunny's voice and expressions, um, inhabited the character because if not, it is just kind of like a piece of metal with a lot of wires. I still believe that. We'll see how long that lasts. But, you know, it took a an actual human to make this AI feel human for me. And I, I that, that feels good to know. I could only imagine what the first meet and greet would be like just with the, with the robot coming at you. Yeah. I wanted to hug her. That was my that was my instinct right away to hug her. Very cool. That yeah. that won't go well when the AI war happens and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, the other question, you're filming this all in Japan. You're a big fan. You've visited there. But what was it like working there? And was there anything as you were just hanging out off a set or going to different towns that was inspiring you in your performance? The whole thing. I mean, Japan is is a, a giant, beautiful country. And, and I think, you know, I'd only ever really been to Tokyo and Kyoto. So being able to explore the countryside, being able to go to Okinawa, to go to uh, Naoshima, the art islands, um, to go to Hakone, to go to Mount Fuji. You know, there's so much history. It's such an old country. They're very um, respectful of their own traditions and history. Um, and to, to learn about that and live there and, you know, travel whenever I had time off was, yeah, truly inspiring, not just for the part in the show, but for my whole life, really. With Susie and Sunny, I feel like their dynamic, it, it very much is kind of reminiscent of the first few seasons with Anne and Leslie for Parks and Rec. What was it, what's it like kind of dealing with that pure optimism and like wanting to help, <laughs> even though you're like, I, I don't know, I, I can't give you this right now. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, Sunny's kind of like my Leslie No. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Um... I mean, I think I think Susie's so much more irritated by it than Anne is by Leslie. I think right away on Parks, Anne is so impressed by um, Leslie's undying optimism, and you know, in this case, Susie is super irritated by it. But she wears her down. I mean, that's maybe what they have in common is that Sunny eventually kind of she's just loyal. She she sticks around. She knows a lot about Susie's family, and so she does make herself. Um, kind of indispensable to Susie in her life. And she does kind of wear her down in a way where she finally is vulnerable with her and they do become friends. Um, but also the trust factor maybe is a little different because Leslie is a person and, and you know, Anne can just trust that she's going to keep being a person. And Susie's unsure kind of who's programming Sunny, will she turn on her? You know, will she become sentient? There's a lot of mu much bigger questions there. I, I think this is really such a great show. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure, and I can't thank wait to you. see what's going on next. On the Rocks was one of my favorite movies of, oh, of thank you so uh, much. when it came out. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much. Great to meet yeah. you. Nice to meet you, too. Have a great day. See it or skip it. See it or skip it. See it or skip it. See it or skip it.